Hello and welcome back to TechIt. So today I'm going to show you some AND gates from Red Power. We're going to continue with the uh, redstone kind of theme. They're very useful to make AND gates. I don't know if you've seen my uh, nuclear bunker video, um, but basically what you can do with these is add two inputs into one little box and then it will send you like an output from that. So two inputs, one output kind of thing. So um, there is a version you can make um, with the vanilla game. Um, but it takes a lot more space. I'll show you this actually now. It takes a lot more room to do. Um, oh, <laughs> in like every possible chest there. Um, so yeah, I'll give you an idea what you, how you would originally make it, and then we'll make the red power version. It shows you just how much smaller it is. So. Uh, we need something to... I'll use a block to light up. So in order to light this block up using an AND gate which will take two inputs what we need to do uh, is lay down three blocks put two redstone torches on each end put a redstone in the middle and turn it on then line that through there and turn it off then two levers go down on the blocks of the redstone. Now what this will do is it's continuously being powered. So basically you need to turn both of these off to turn this signal off, which will turn off this signal, which will turn the block on, which will turn turn, turn the block off, sorry, which will turn the rest in dodge on. It's very confusing. Um, so basically you turn that one off and that will go off. But because this redstone torch is still on, it provides power so that the uh, redstone torch is not lit. Once you've done that, it will still not turn on because I've not put a redstone torch down. Um, and then we need to go up another block. Right, so you see that's on. We turn those off. <laughs> wow, this is massive fail. I did it earlier, so it's a bit strange. Um, well, ignore this. You can you know you can see how long how much room it takes. So it takes three by three basically and then two blocks high to do so it takes a lot of room. So let's let's make the um the heat, uh, easier version of this. So we're going to need to make some um wires, anodes and cathodes. So we've got our wafers here, which is the base of any red power circuit. To make these, what we do is put a piece of cobble into the um, induction furnace. I'll turn it into sm smooth stone, put it back in. Give you two wafers. Um, then we're going to take some of the wafers and put some redstone on top, which will give us some wires. We need um, two, just one wire, actually. But I'm not actually going to make that because I've got some here already, so you can leave that. Uh, we're going to make some anodes. We're going to make three of these, I believe. Is it two? Just the two. So we need to have three redstone like this, and then three wafers below. That'll give us three anodes. So you get, you know, your materials to. Um, like what we, we you put in basically you get back out the same quantities and we need to make some cathodes which are just wafers with a rest and torch above make four of those, why not um, so four cathodes an anode, two anodes, a wire and two wafers put these together so the order is as follows two wafers in the bottom left and bottom right stone wire between those Above from that, we're going to have the um, cathodes in a straight line, and then one above in the centre, and then we're going to take two anodes in the left and right. So we'll give us an AND gate, and I'll show you how this works. Let's make it day so we can see better. Now, you see the 3x3 three three space this one took up? I'll tell you what, plonk it down just for, just for show. So you can see how much room it took up. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Oops. Oh wow, scroll wheels spazzing out. All right, okay. So that's how much space it would have taken up. Okay. So this one takes one block. That's it. What you can do with this is grab your screwdriver and right click to rotate. So the inputs and outputs go like so. You've got um, sorry yeah the disabled inputs have got no red in the groove so basically oh crikey running running around quick so what we can do uh, if we take some redstone and put say three no we use two actually two is easier because it's related to you know what we've done there um we take two of those, two inputs. So you see one light goes out. And the other one goes out. I think it might be the wrong way around. Just have a look. Now this is looks different from when I... I hate the noise so much. <laughs> um, yeah, different from when I used it last, which is on the nuclear bunker yeah it doesn't seem to be operating the same um, let's just give me a second and I will check this right so I was being a bit thick so what you need to do is place this down and then shift click with the screwdriver will disable some of these inputs so the ones with no red wire yeah, that's what the bit I was talking about earlier on. So you can see here. So let's turn these off for the minute. Um, you can see there's a red wire on each side. Apart from that one. So what you can do is cycle through. So that is now on. That one side's on and that side. That side's off. That side's off. So, you know, you can go through in a like, clockwise motion and choose which ones you want on. So I want the two side ones. So... Redstone torch is on, switch these two, and it'll go out. So that's the, what I was trying to achieve in the first place. Uh, let's take this onto a different map and show you exactly what you can do with this. Right, ha, I've got my little scheming tricks sorted out. Um, so I've set up, basically you can make this all um, a lot more tidy and stuff, but you can hide it underground. This is what I've set up. I'm just going to put the fine bit of redstone down. Just while I was testing it to make sure it wouldn't go off. Um, so, yeah, basically the setup here is two levers. One will turn out each of the lights. Light on, light off. Second one will activate it fully. Um, you can also add AND gates in like a series. So, if I show you here, uh, let's get a few more. Uh, enough look, I've got like enough snowballs to uh, last me a lifetime just clearing out this little area for you guys to, to see a little bit easier um, managed to get a load of snow just by using this guitar just right clicking um, so yeah you can add a couple of series like of and gates together um, so you can have like four inputs so if we get rid of this for now uh, let's make change this over to like that, and like that, and like that. So you can do this. Needs to be a bit spaced apart, actually. So let's get it going. Like that. Like that. Like that. So basically, you can use four levers, for example. Oh, lever, not lever. Um, so look, you can put one, two, three, four. Then put one, two, does the first side, three, four, activates it fully. So um, really good, really good to uh, to know. Let's get rid of all this stuff. That wasn't legitimate. 
So if I don't, people will rage. Uh, I had, I had one lever left, didn't I? Right, there we go. So let's do this. One, two. Off she goes. Well, she would if I put the rest in down. There we go. And thank you for watching. Appreciate reviews, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.